Guppies are one of the most popular fish pets in the aquarium industry. For Novus Aquarius, they are indeed one of the most accessible fish since they are timid, quiet, adaptable, inexpensive, and simple to care for. In short, there's no need to panic in keeping them healthy. However, despite their popularity, guppies still have to grow alongside other types of fish that would suit them well in the aquarium. We all know that once you purchase a fish, there's no turning back from the joy of adopting more inside your aquarium, right? That's why to help you deal with your indecisive and impulsive mind, we will talk about the best guppies tank mates in this video. All you have to do is stick around and jot down every statistical record of these fish because Aquarium Store Depot is here to guide you in your next purchase of guppies tank mates. It's essential to think carefully before selecting tank mates for guppies. Yes, these live bearers are laid back and get along well with much other fish. You want to ensure everyone feels at ease in the same tank. In terms of their size, guppies are tiny, smaller than 3.5 inches, and having little mouths describe the guppy fish. They are also generally peaceful fish, and the males are especially colorful with their long, soft fins. The list of tank mates we included in this video are fish that are highly compatible with your guppies. If you are all ready to further your knowledge, let's get on with it with the first fish on our list, other types of guppies. Please take a moment to think about adding more guppies before we begin with other tank companions. These fish come in a stunning assortment of varied hues and fin configurations and thrive in the same environments. If you intend to produce particular guppies, I wouldn't advise combining fancy strains but if you're okay with blending breeds, you may get a range of guppies. Next on the list is the Oh Amazing Octosynclus Catfish. One of the commonest fish in the fish keeping hobby is the Octosynclus Catfish, also known as Autos. They are safe for guppy breeders since these nano catfish only consume algae and remain tiny. Autos may be housed in tanks as little as 10 gallons, but because of their propensity, for eating a lot of algae, they can be challenging to feed in such a tiny area. If required, supplement their food with algae wafers and zucchini. You would cherish this third on our list. Let's get to know the cherry shrimp. Guppies make intriguing tank mates for fish water shrimp, and you needed to worry about devouring your fry. Please ensure that there are lots of plants and caverns for the guppies to hide in because some like to graze on the little shrimp. For this, delicate leaf plants like java moss are perfect. There are many varieties and breeds of freshwater shrimp, and they also have lovely colors. Fourth is the pygmy cori catfish. Guppies get along well in tanks with pygmy cori catfish. In contrast to their bigger, bottom-dwelling siblings, these little schooling fish like to stay in the tank's middle layers of the water. Because pygmy cori catfish are so calm, they are frequently a safe option with shrimp and will probably not eat your guppy fry either. Most of the additional quarry catfish species kept as aquarium pets are also excellent tank mates for your guppy fish. Next on the list is the Kohli Loach. If your tank's water is close to being neutral on the pH scale, Kohli Loaches are great tank companions for guppies. The quest for food by these odd striped fish resembling eels is amusing because they are nocturnal. These scaleless fish might be somewhat timid, but you will like seeing them when they emerge. They are also incredibly calm and will leave your guppy fish alone. Swordtail made itself to our sixth spot. Swordtail fish, like your guppies, are live bearers. When you look at these fish, you'll notice a similarity even though swordtails get much more prominent. Swordtails acquire their name from the long pointed tail fins that develop on the males. Guppies typically get along well with swordtails but the males can occasionally become aggressive. In case things don't work out between these two well-known tropical fish species, I advise having a backup strategy. Endler's live bearer might be your next end game. Endlers and guppies get along great since they are so similar. These fish may breed with one another to produce hybrids since they are so closely related. Although the resultant fish are adorable, I would advise combining endlers with something other than fancy guppies if you intend to breed your fish. Eighth on the list is the platyfish. Another excellent library fish is the platyfish. These vibrant fish prefer the same water conditions as guppies and slightly grow bigger than them, making them ideal tank mate for guppies. Platies are available in various colors, including bright blues, gold wagtails, and black. 
Flighty fish are an excellent option for novices setting up a community tank since they are so simple to feed and care for. Lake Neon Tetra is another suitable tank mate for guppies. A stunning freshwater fish native to South America is the Black Neon Tetra. Numerous other fishwater fish such as guppies get along well with these calm schooling fish. These fish have a comparable growth rate and will prosper on the same food. Just be sure to grab a school of at least six black neons. You'll like how they swim in unison. Fine like an amber is our 10th fish called Ember Tetra. Another nano fish. Ember Tetras are excellent aquarium companions for guppies. These plastic golden orange fish are ideal for a tank with plenty of plants because of their calm temperament. Amber tetras may coexist with guppies in water with a pH of approximately 7 and slightly acidic to neutral water. I've already featured your favorite guppies' 10 potential tank mates, and I bet you've already made your choice. However, that's only part of it because we still have more. Before we get on with our video, it would be awesome if you smash the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to be updated daily on our newest topic for a fish keeper like you. I am now going back to our track. If you want to add spice to your guppies tank, the chili rasporas are the right find for you. These small fishwater fish from Southeast Asia are called chili rasporas. These calm fish make excellent aquarium mates for guppy fish. Being so small, chili raspora fish can be slightly timid, which is reasonable. To appreciate their stunning colors and patterns, keep them together in a sizable school in a tank with many plants. This next one will give you a galaxy vibe in your tank. Meet the celestial pearl Danio. For your guppy fish tank, galaxy raspora fish are a fantastic species. Because they stay small, these calm fresh water fish may be kept in a 15 gallon aquarium with some guppies in a small school. Their pearly markings on their flanks resemble a starry night sky, and they have vivid orange fins. Going 13th is the Harlequin Raspora. One of my favorite guppy tank mates are the Harlequin Raspora fish. These schooling fish are colorful, friendly, and won't fight your guppies. Aquariums with plenty of live plants are great for the Harlequin Rasporas. They will undoubtedly nibble on your guppy fry if they can, so if you want your newborn fish to develop securely, think about using a separate breeding tank. White Cloud Minnows would drive your guppies to cloud nine. Fish from China called the White Cloud Minnows are calm shoaling fish. These little fish have stunning red fins and a bright side stripe. White Cloud Minnows make fantastic guppy tank companions. These two freshwater aquarium fish may coexist when the water is between 66 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Going 15th is the adorable fish called the Cherry Barb. Another calm variety of tiny schooling fish that you may maintain with your guppies are cherry barbs. These fish often flourish in the same water conditions as your guppies, and if you keep them together in schools, the two species won't fight. Cherry barbs are gregarious fish that require some of their kind to feel at ease. Choose at least six of these stunning reddish fish, but consider more if your tank is large enough. Honey Garami is another tank mate that you can consider. Small, calm Honey Garamis are better fish cousins. Although they may be maintained alone as little showpiece fish, they thrive in small groups. These vibrant fish are generally calm, but during breeding, you may get some territory behavior from the males. In contrast to their brilliant yellow or orange body hue at this time, they will grow a black neck and belly. Can you believe that a peacock could live in your aquarium? You heard it right. Papua New Guinea is home to the unusual and eye-catching peacock grudgeon. These calm predators won't harm your guppies, but they'll eat your fry. You may even breed peacock grudgeons in your tank. Fry raising does they require little maintenance, but they are still approachable fish. They will be the happiest in a tank with many living plants, driftwood, rocks, and caverns. Bristlenose Pleco is 18th on our list. Bristlenose Plecos, like the Octocinclus catfish, are excellent algae eaters and contribute to tank cleanliness. The unusual fish are durable and straightforward, making them ideal for novices. Plecos hang down at the tank's bottom and require a little cave and a lot of driftwood to survive. Keep only one bristlenose plecos in your guppy community tank to prevent conflicts because they are territorial fish. Tank makes like the molly fish are also on our list. Guppies and molly fish may coexist in the same tank and are similar in many respects. However, mollies grow considerably more prominent than guppies, occasionally exhibiting a little animosity toward their smaller relatives. You can combine the two species in a 30 gallon or more extensive community arrangement. You will have the highest chance of success if you maintain excellent water quality and produce lots of live plants, but be prepared with a backup strategy. 
Our twelfth fish is the betta. Your best likelihood of success is a single female betta. They may not be as colorful as the males, but they are still fantastic fish that are typically less aggressive. Nevertheless, I still advise having a backup strategy in case your fish don't get along. Male betta fish are higher risk as they might fight with the male fancy tail guppies. And finally, the last one on our list, the shell dwelling dwarf cichlid. Guppies and most cichlids don't get along, but the African shell dwelling species are a significant exception. The hobby offers a few species, but the Maltese are typically the most accessible. Your guppies will notice that Maltese like to linger out at the top since they are territorial over their shells despite not being particularly violent fish, but young guppies will be consumed by cichlids. At last, there we have it. All these fish we featured in this video will surely make a good choice for you if you want to have tank mates for your guppies. Many gup tank companions in this post may be purchased at your neighborhood fish shop. However, some less common species such as shell dwelling cichlids and peacock gredgeons could be simpler to locate online. If you wanted to know more about how to choose a suitable companion for your guppies, how to start planning for a community of fish in your tank, how or what to feed them, and of course, the most crucial of them all, how to manage their tank and water requirements. You can visit our official website at aquariumstoredepot.com where all the information you need to know about this fish is accessible. Guppies get along with many calm fresh water species, but it's always a good idea to conduct research before telling the shop salesman which fish you like. I hope this video helped you with your questions about guppy tank mates. I'll see you in our next exciting topic at Aquarium Store Depot. Thank you for watching, fish keepers. Just keep on thriving.